What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tash doing this video on the Keurig K Supreme Plus single serve coffee maker special edition. Making this for all my coffee makers out there. So um uh, go ahead and get this started. Okay, I already got this process I already started a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you guys this is the container that the water goes in for your coffee maker it's a thing down here that cleans cleans the water keeps the water nice and filtered you go unplug that I didn't want to take it out because I already started so I decided to make a video after the fact so please excuse me for that but it's a it's a little like a bag slash filter right there as you can see it right there that plugs up inside it's a filter where you can see the, the plastic utensil in there and you can see it from the top also where you can see it right there right there so what that is as part of the filter also or is the filter with that down there at the bottom they help cleanse the water keeps the water nice and clean and the first thing you do once you get that situated and get that filled up with water all the way to the max line right here that's so you fill up to the max line i already started the process i got it down halfway already and um what you do you come back over here put the cup in there get you an eight ounce six eight ten twelve ounce cup make sure it's in there once you got that in there you can bring this down twice or actually once you can't do it twice then once you get that taken care of you come back up top you can choose four six eight ten or twelve ounce i'm gonna choose eight you wait for that to flash you click that and then the process begins as you can hear it and you start seeing the water bro and cleaning the process and one thing i noticed also that you don't want to forget it's a filter right there that filter right there you want to put that in so don't let it just sit to the side and, and not use it you want to use that filter right here to keep all the grinds and coffee grains or whatever you want to call them out of your cup if you don't want to drink no coffee with grains on your, your coffee then once you get that taken care of once it fills up See it's filling up pretty quick. Like so. Get a better angle. Put the heat and fogging up the camera. On my one plus open. Okay, now I got it on eight ounce. This is a ten ounce cup. So once it's filled, and you see the water stop, it says enjoy up top, then it starts over with strengthen and temperature. I'm not gonna get into that. Maybe I'll do a video on that later. Maybe not. Once the water is filled up in the cup, you come back and open it back up like so. Take the excess water that you got from the from the filter, pour it out. Excuse the junk in the sink. Should have cleaned that out before the video, but hey, we human. But anyway, after that cleaning process is over with. What you want to do next, get you one of these little coffee cups, put that in there, bring that down, close it, select whatever you want to select. You can put the strength, well I can just do that now since we were talking about that earlier. You got the strength, the temperature, haven't went through this yet so we just go figure this out right now. So you got your strength button, it's common sense, you got your temp button strength let you know what kind of strength you want your coffee to be you can see it's real strong or you want it weak mid, mid grade or strong you got your temperature you want it medium hot hot or probably hotter that's what i'm assuming that means but anyway i'm gonna put it on strength i want it right in the middle and i want my temperature right in the middle middle but anyway once you get that cup in there and get the temper and everything selected, 
And what you want to do, you want to come back over here and uh, press the 8 ounce and start. And sit back and enjoy your first coffee, cup of coffee, I mean, as you can see, it's brewing. Oh, and ooh. Oh, listen to that sound. Mmm, it smells so good.